Well, we have some breaking news. A New York state court has ruled fired, unvaccinated public employees must be reinstated and given back pay after being let go for not complying with New York City's vaccine mandate. This is a big win. Uh, the judge ruled that the mandate was arbitrary and capricious, basically a bunch of bunk, not based in any science or any sort of, you know, consistency. And ultimately, the judge said a whole lot of things many of us have been waiting to hear. This is a very powerful ruling that is rooted in facts and science. Let's go ahead and break this down. All right. So first of all, the case involves 16 fired sanitation workers who were let go after their applications for vaccine exemption were denied. Um, this ruling only applies to them, but of course this would be a gateway ruling, which is why the city is now appealing the decision. Now during the appeal, the sanitation workers will not be reinstated and they will not be given back pay, but uh, we're gonna go over this case and I have a hard time seeing how any appeals court will overturn this ruling based on all of the hard, cold facts the judge stated. So let's go ahead and uh, go over it. So this is some of the background information on October 20th, 2021. The vaccine, the vaccination mandate required all city employees to show proof of at least one dose of vaccination against COVID-19 by 5 p.m. on October 29th, 2021. On December 13th, the commissioner extended the vaccination mandate to employees in the private sector. But on March 24th, Mayor Adams enacted Executive Order Number 62, which provided blanket exemptions from the private employer's vaccine mandate for athletes, performers, and other artists. So they said, well, if you're an athlete or a performer or another artist, you don't need to adhere to the vaccine mandate. But everybody else, whether you be a public worker or a private worker, you have to do it except for famous people is what they is what they said, which, uh, you know, many of us knew when these rulings came out, when these mandates were coming out, that they were they weren't based on just public health measures for everybody. They were biased and there were many reasons for their bias and, and many ways that they were biased. But this is one of the showcasings of it. And that happened also here in California, where I am where you were exempt if you were the the Hollywood industry was exempt from having, you know, all the various mandates that other employers were were put in that, that were put in place for other employers. They weren't allowed to open up their businesses, but Hollywood was allowed to operate. And a lot of that had to do with the lobby and the amount of money that's in California with Hollywood. And the same thing in New York. You know, they've got a lot of performing artists. Um, they've got sports and whatnot, and they just said, okay, well, you, you're exempt because somehow you're safer than everybody else, even though you're in, um, you know, if you're an athlete, you're in extremely close contact with other people, but, you know, follow the science, right? So, uh, says here, there is nothing in the record. So this is the ruling here. There is nothing in the record to support the rationality of keeping a vaccination mandate for public employees while vacating the mandate for private sector employees or creating a carve out for certain professions like athletes, artists, and performers. This is clearly an arbitrary and capricious action because we are dealing with identical unvaccinated people being treated differently by the same administrative agency. Though not raised in the initial filing, this court considered the fact that all but one of the petitioners applied for exemptions from the mandate. They received generalized and vague denials. During that time, their exemptions were being processed. They remained unvaccinated. There was no reason they could not continue to submit to testing and continue to fulfill their duties as public employees. There was no reason why the city of New York could not continue with a vaccine or test policy like the mayor's executive order that was issued in August of 2021. There was nothing demonstrated in the record as to why there was a vaccination mandate issued for only public employees on October of 2021. This court notes that COVID-19 rates were averaging under 1,500 per day in October of 2021, significantly lower than today's average COVID-19 rates. There was nothing demonstrated in the record as to why the private sector mandate was issued months later in December 2021. There was nothing demonstrated in the record as to why exemptions were issued for certain professions in March of 2022 under executive order number 62. Yeah. So they're saying, look, why did you give this mandate to just public employees, but not private employees if it was such a health issue? 
Why then, when you finally did give it to public to to private employees, did you then later carve out and say, "But if you're an athlete, if you're famous, then you don't have to do it"? Like, why did you do this? Um, there was nothing demonstrated in the record as to why employees were kept at full duty during the months-long pendency of their exemption appeals. There was nothing demonstrated in the record as to why a titer was not acceptable, so that's a, a test, why a test was not acceptable, alternative to vaccination, other than a single CDC study entitled New CDC Study, Vaccination Offers Higher Protection Than Previous COVID-19 Infection, which was issued on August 6th of 2021, which we now know is not factual. Though vaccination should be encouraged, public employees should not have been terminated for their noncompliance. Over 79% of the population in New York City are vaccinated. These unvaccinated employees were kept at full duty while their exemptions were pending. Based upon the petitioner's vague denials of their exemptions, the fact they were kept at full duty for several months while their exemptions were pending, the mayor's executive order granting exemptions to certain classes of people, and the lifting of the private sector mandate, this court finds the commissioner's orders of October 20, 20th, 2021 and December 13th, 2021, as well as the mayor's executive order number 62 to be arbitrary and capricious. So basically all of the mandate rulings in New York City were arbitrary and capricious. They just kind of made crap up as they went along and then they mandated it. So they're saying if you were a, you know, why, why'd you give it to just the public employees and then you gave it to the private and then you carved out these exceptions and at the same time while you uh, forced public employees to take the vaccine you did allow them to still continue to work even with the mandate while their exemptions were being uh, processed and then suddenly you denied them you gave them vague reasons and you let them go why couldn't they just continue on as they were while you still have this mandate why couldn't you just make the mandate a little bit different modify it and continue to accommodate these workers. So this is, uh, you know, looking really good. This is a big win. Now it gets really juicy here at the end when the judge really gives their their opinion on this, their conclusion. And this is the type of stuff I think many of us have been waiting to hear from the courts, and we hope to continue to hear. This is, uh, well, let me just read it for you here. It is clear that the health commissioner has the authority to issue public health mandates. No one is refuting that authority. However, the health commissioner cannot create a new condition of employment for city employees. The health commissioner cannot prohibit an employee from reporting to work. The health commissioner cannot terminate employees. The mayor cannot exempt certain employees from these orders. Executive order number 62 renders all of these vac vaccine mandates arbitrary and capricious. Right. Carving it out for famous people, for athletes and performers, makes the whole thing bull. That's what it does. You're just going to get, oh, but if you're famous, then you don't have to do it. But everybody else needs to do it. That renders the entire thing arbitrary and capricious. Absolutely. Finally, somebody saying it, a judge saying it out loud. That is exactly what we all have been saying, that this doesn't even make sense. Goes on to say, being vaccinated, this is where it gets good, being vaccinated does not prevent an individual from contracting or transmitting COVID-19. Oh, vindication. Uh, as of the day of this decision, CDC guidelines regarding quarantine and isolation are the same for vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals, right? Now we knew this when the CDC said, ah, okay, it's all the same for everybody. That was an admission without fully admitting that there is no difference between a vaccinated and an unvaccinated person when it comes to public health. The petitioners should not have been terminated for choosing not to protect themselves. We have learned through the course of the pandemic that the vaccine against COVID-19 is not absolute. Breakthrough cases occur, even for those who've been vaccinated and boosted. President Joseph Biden has said that the pandemic is over. The state of New York ended the COVID-19 state of emergency over a month ago. As the court stated in this decision in the Ravici matter, this is not a commentary on the efficacy of vaccination, but about how we are treating our first responders, the ones who worked day to day through the height of the pandemic. They worked without protective gear. They were infected with COVID-19. Sorry, this I just get... I, I, I'm getting emotional about this. I'm sorry, guys, but it's because this is people have been waiting to hear this. I mean, this is absolutely this is what so many of these first responders in particular have been waiting to hear. 
they worked without protective gear. They were infected with COVID-19, creating natural immunity. They continued to work full duty while their exemption requests were pending. They were terminated and are willing to come back to work for the city that cast them aside. The vaccination mandate for city employees was not just about safety and public health. It was about compliance. If it was about safety and public health, unvaccinated workers would have been placed on leave the moment the order was issued. If it was about safety and public health, the health commissioner would have issued citywide mandates for vaccination for all residents. In a city with a nearly 80 percent vaccination rate, we shouldn't be penalizing the people who showed up to work at great risk to themselves and their families while we were locked down. If it was about safety and public health, no one would be exempt. It is time for the city of New York to do what is right and what is just. Sorry. Uh, I'll think about re-recording this or maybe I'll just air it as is. But I just, this is huge news. I mean, how many people lost their jobs, were told that they were worthless pieces of crap, of anti-vax crap after they uh, gave up their time they were scared it was a new virus everyone was being told to lock down and these first responders were told except for you you have to keep working and then suddenly they were told now you have to get vaccinated because you're dangerous you're a dangerous vile despicable human being this was outrageous what was done to these people it was totally and completely outrageous that our society devolved to this level of hypocrisy and and discrimination absolutely appalling. So this ruling is massive. This is huge. These are the words that so many people have been waiting to hear. And they're finally actually hearing it from a New York judge, not somewhere in, you know, not in Texas or Kansas or Idaho, but New York. That is where they're hearing this. And that is where they need to hear it. And they need to start hearing this all around the country. These apologies essentially need to be heard all around the country. That's what needs to happen. So this is a gateway ruling. We need to see more rulings like this. Now, of course, the city is appealing this. They're saying, no, we stand firm. Um, in fact, let me just give you the statement that the city made. They said, um, uh, th this was a statement that was given to CNN. They said, the city strongly disagrees with this ruling as the mandate is firmly grounded in law and is critical to New York's public health. We have already filed an appeal. In the meantime, the mandate remains in place as this ruling pertains solely to the individual petitioners in this case. We continue to review the court's decision, which conflicts with numerous other rulings already upholding the mandate. A bunch of, okay, go ahead and prove that in appeals court. Why is there still a mandate? Give us the public health reason why you think there should be scientifically a public mandate. And are you going to make sure everyone adheres to this? Or are you going to pick and choose who should and who shouldn't based on the class and the income of those people? Are you going to do that? So it'll be interesting to see what happens when they take this to, um, you know, they're going to take this to uh, the appeals court. We will see uh, what happens. I can't imagine the appeals court saying, okay, yeah. Uh, no, they could still keep these people fired for good reason. I would like to hear what that good reason is. There isn't one. So this is a giant win. Um, sorry for getting all emotional on you for this, on this one, but it is a really big win. This is just one of those things like those happy, sometimes, you know, I see those happy commercials and I can't help myself but to tear up because it's just so sweet or those happy movies. And that's kind of this for me. This is sort of the happy ending in a way, even though they're still going through the process, but this is the happy ending that so many of the people who were most discriminated against, most harmed, most really just vilified during this process. This is the vindication that they have been waiting for. And uh, this was only 16 people, but I'm sure it will be more. And I look forward to it. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Now, I know I haven't been, I've been very inconsistent about being on. I've been dealing with a significant uh, drama that uh, with my move and buying a new house and setting up my new studio, I have an incredibly noisy neighbor that I've been dealing with. And it's been um, a giant drama, actually, that I discuss over on my locals community. I do post about it there. I'm going to be doing a live stream about it tomorrow about the latest drama. And believe me, you won't want to miss it because uh, lots of lots of dramatic things have been happening. Uh, cops have been called on me. I mean, it's yes. <laughs> So if you want to hear the story, then join my locals community. Uh, the link is down below. 
uh, you could join there and I will be telling the drama tomorrow in detail and, you know, why the cops got called on uh, your friend Cam here. So everything's fine. I'm not in trouble. Don't worry. I did not do anything wrong. I explained to the police and you guys can hear all about that in my locals community. So sign up down below. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys hopefully soon if I can resolve some of this noise drama that I've been dealing with. So see you soon.